Hi there, boys and girls. Brucey here with another digital performer quick tip. Now, this is a question that came up on my last video about routing audio, and it was a question from Wesley. But actually, I've seen this question come up quite a few times in the forums, and it is how do you route a MIDI plugin like something like Xverse Cthulhu or Scalar? in Digital Performer, and it's not as quite as straightforward as it is in some of the other DAWs out there. But let me take you through the process. The other really thing, the other really important thing to remember is that currently Digital Performer 10, the latest version, doesn't support MIDI output through audio unit plugins. You have to have the VST2 version of the plugin for this to work. So let's see what you need to do. First off, we need to add an instrument track, and this is where the plugin should be residing. I don't have Cthulhu, but I do have Scalar, and I'm going to add that in now. So here we go. Um, unhelpfully here, I have two versions. One version is audio units, and one version is VST. I happen to know that this is the VST version, so I'm going to select this. So now we have Scalar set up on a standard audio instrument channel. The next thing is we need to be able to route some MIDI to that because you see I'm playing the keyboard now nothing happens. Okay so the next stage is to add a MIDI track. So here is my MIDI track. What you need to do is um, make sure that the output now is going to Scalar. So as you can see now I play that I get some horrible nasty uh, f feedback occurring. That is pretty nasty. That's because we've got a kind of weird MIDI feedback loop. This is the all important step here. We need to go through here and make sure that multi record is on. So when I select multi record, you will see that I get to select which input I want as my MIDI input. Otherwise it's set to all and in a sense you've got a MIDI feedback loop occurring. So as you'll hear now, I'm able to play through Scalar and play the instrument sounds through Scalar because it is a standalone um, instrument in its own right. But uh, again, forgive me, I'm not completely sure about Cthulhu, but if it is a MIDI plugin, then you need to do one more step to make it sound through the instrument that you want it to sound through. So I'm now going to add uh, another instrument track containing the synth that I want my MIDI plugin to control. So let's just pick um, anything. Spitfire Labs, uh, Soft Piano. That's what I want to control. So I can get that out of the way there. Now currently that has nothing assigned to it. So this is where I have to do some clever MIDI routing. So I'm going to have to add another MIDI track. And then on my other MIDI track, I should see that Scalar comes up as an input. So now my output of Scalar should be going through to my labs. Oh, sorry, I have to select my labs output there. So if I mute the piano in uh, Scalar, we should be hearing the sound coming through labs. And if I wanted to, for example, use the arpeggio function here, All the other functions should start working now if I just put detect on and start. Okay, so there you have it in a slightly convoluted way. It might be easy if we just quickly pop over to the mixer window and you can see how this is set up. So I have Scalar or Cthulhu or whatever instrument is you want on its own virtual instrument channel. I have the keyboard, my keyboard here, routed through into Scalar. I then have this other MIDI track, which is kind of acting as a, as a pass-through track, where I have, um, sorry, this one here, this is acting as my pass-through track, um, where I have the output of Scalar going to the input of the virtual instrument, in this case, labs that I want to control. So a little bit convoluted, but I hope that helped you and uh, sort out the problems that you are having with this. Hopefully in the next version or in an update that this will be um, addressed in some way. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I've been Brucey. I will catch you later.